Alright, so now here's another kind of parallel dominant 7 chord that kind of involves um, borrowing again, okay? So this time what we're going to do is we're going to learn what we'll call D7 chord. So if you've been playing guitar, you probably know this D7 chord is simple. Uh, D7 chord where you play uh, like this. Now there's nothing wrong with that D7 chord, but the problem is you can't really become a more using that same chord, moving up that shape, up and down the guitar, it doesn't work too well in different keys and we want it to be more um, you know, versatile, okay? So what we're going to do is learn a different type of uh, D7 chord and then kind of move that up and down the guitar, okay? So it's going to involve only barring three strings, so this is probably isn't as bad as the A7 chord, but it does revolve um, using more fingers up. So we're going to take our first finger, again we're going to bar, half bar, so just bar three strings of the second fret, okay, first finger, alright, then we're going to take our second finger, and then we're going to put that on the third fret, second string, third fret, second string, okay, then we take our, we're going to take our third finger, and then we're going to put that on the 4th fret, 4th string. So again, bar 2nd fret, then it's going to be 3rd third, third fret, 2nd string, and then 3rd finger is going to go on the 4th fret, 4th string. Now to make this a dominant 7 chord, we're going to take our pinky and we're going to put that on the 3rd string, 5th fret. So it should sound like this. Okay. This might take some work at because you have to involve all four fingers. But I think after you know practicing well you should be able to get it. And again, like in the other video, the A7 video, you know, when you play each chord, you can like let go of the chord after playing it. So, so your hands will get tired. Alright? So here's the D7 chord. Now we're going to go to the G7 chord using that same chord shape. That's going to be at the 7th fret. So that's a G7 chord. And then after G7, we go to A7, which is going to be at the 9th fret. Okay? And that's an A7 chord. So now let's try the blues progression again with uh, these three chords. So here we go. D7, 3, 4. Thank you.